What's going on guys? It's Greg here, aka NY Prepper. In this video, I'm going to shoot at some bricks with my elephant gun. I'm going to be using my 416 Ruger. And I'm shooting at these 2 inch thick bricks. And I want to see how many bricks the 416 Ruger will penetrate through. I'm going to use two different types of loads. I'm going to be using a 400 grain dangerous game solid and a 350 grain mono metal so i'm really curious how many bricks that elephant gun will penetrate through and the 416 ruger can generate between 5000 and 5500 foot pounds of muzzle energy so it's somewhere in between a 458 wind mag and a 458 lot in terms of power but the penetration with this round is just unbelievable. I shot through a two foot diameter fresh white oak log with it. It went through like butter. I shot through 17 sheets of 16 gauge sheet metal and 26 Douglas fir two by tens. So it's just an incredible penetrator. So let me just show you the rifle and the ammunition that I'm going to be using. So this is a Ruger M77 Hawkeye guide gun and it's chambered in 416 Ruger. Okay, basically like a 416 Remington Magnum or 416 Rigby, but a standard length cartridge. So the overall length is the same as a 3006 or 300 Win Mag or 270, so it allows Ruger to continue using their standard length action that they can mass produce on the cheap. And so, let me just show you what these look like. So, these are the rounds I'm going to use. On the left, I have the Hornady 400 grain Dangerous Game Solid, it's a steel jacketed bullet with high antimony lead core and that one has a muzzle velocity of 2400 feet per second out of this 20 inch barrel and i actually have chronographed both of these loads and i can confirm these numbers to you that they are 100 percent accurate so 2400 feet per second with the hornady 400 grain dangerous game solid steel jacketed bullet and that's around 5,100 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. And then here we have the Buffalo Bore 350 grain mono metal. This one is actually a solid copper bullet. And I've chronographed this one, and I get around 2,650 feet per second out of this 20-inch barrel. And that comes out to 5,500 foot-pounds of muzzle energy okay almost as much as a 458 lot 458 lot tops out at around 5,700 foot-pounds so let me just show you the boxes here so this is the Buffalo bore 350 grain mono metal and I did chronograph both of these like I said and the advertised numbers are 100% correct so I'm gonna take the first shot with the 400 grain dangerous game solid the steel jacketed bullet it's got this round nose and if i have enough bricks left over i'm going to hit it with the buffalo bore mono metal okay so i got 12 bricks i brought 12 bricks today to the range i'm going to be shooting at the bricks from 35 yards away there are the bricks right there so 35 yards away, so the impact energy should be pretty similar to the muzzle energy. And uh, let me just give you another look at the rifle here. I uh, changed out the stock. This is a Hogue stock. It has a full-length bed block. I have an Athlon 1-6 to power scope on here. I got these Alaska Arms LLC steel quick detach rings excellent rings for dangerous game and i have these custom 
night sights from a company called Tool Tech Gunsight, and they're based out of Michigan. Okay, these are express sights with tritium vials in them, so you can use these in pitch black basically. So, absolutely love this rifle. It's an absolute monster, so I'm really curious how many bricks I'll be able to penetrate through. And also I have this beautiful leather cartridge cuff made by Mason Leather, and they're based out of Texas. And it's just a leather cartridge carrier that goes on your buttstock. And it's really high quality, holds the rounds snugly, but not too snug, but also not loose. The rounds don't fall out after a while like some of the cheap nylon ones do. So if you want to pick up one of these cartridge cuffs, I have a promo code in the description below this video. You can get 10% off one of these and all of Mason Leather products with my promo code. So check the description below this video. Promo code is NY10. So let's get started. Let's take the first shot with the 400 grain DGS versus two inch thick bricks. How many bricks will it penetrate through? 5,100 foot pounds of muzzle energy. All right, guys, here we go. 416 Ruger, 400 grain. Dangerous game solid versus two inch thick bricks. See what happens here. All right, guys, so pretty interesting results. The 416 Ruger only penetrated through one brick, and it looks like either it kind of bounced upward and took out a part of the second and third brick, or if that was just from the impact of the bricks slamming together, but the energy knocked all the bricks over, but only one brick, pretty interesting, and uh, basically just completely pulverized the first brick. I don't know exactly where I hit it. So I might take another shot just to see what happens. I might take another shot and then I'll do the mono metal. But uh, pretty interesting results. We got a chunk of brick right here. Only one brick, really interesting. I thought maybe at least two or three. So I'm going to try to aim a little bit lower see, and see what happens if I aim just a little bit lower. So let's hit it again. 400 grain dangerous game solid. I'm going to aim just a little bit lower. 
look at how it pulverized that first brick. It's pretty impressive. Alright guys, 416 Ruger versus 2 inch thick bricks, 400 grain dangerous game solid take 2. I'm going to aim just a little bit lower and see if that makes any difference, Let's see what happens here. All right, guys, so take two, 400 grain, dangerous game, solid. Looks like we penetrated through possibly two bricks this time. I aimed a little bit lower, and it annihilated the first brick, and this is the second brick, and I don't know if it just split this one in half through sheer energy. I don't think it actually penetrated through. Okay, but it split this brick in half and then toppled the other ones over. So it looks like the 416 Ruger so far can only penetrate through one, possibly two, two inch thick bricks. It's really interesting. I was expecting a lot more penetration. What I think I'm going to do with the 350 grain mono metal is I'm going to actually space the bricks out a little bit more. So they're not like right next to each other. I'm going to double the gap between each brick and see if that makes any difference at all. But pretty interesting results. Definitely not what I expected. I thought it would go through at least a couple. So it's interesting how things like bricks and blocks, they have a very different effect on bullets than wood or water or flesh they have a tendency of very quickly eliminating any kind of energy from a bullet usually the first block or brick tends to absorb a lot of the energy and there's not much energy left after the bullet passes through the first block or brick and i've seen this with other tests that i've done with concrete blocks and bricks and things different types of cartridges so I'm not too surprised, but I just thought it would go through maybe like three or four. But I'm going to space out the bricks for the 350 grain mono metal and see if that makes any kind of difference. All right, guys, so I increased the spacing between the bricks. It's probably about three or four inches between each brick. You can see my fist in comparison. Okay. So maybe that'll make a difference, I don't know, but let's hit it with the 350 green mono metal, 5,500 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. All right, guys, 416 Ruger, take three. We're going to use the Buffalo Bore 350 green mono metal, 
5,500 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. Let's see how many bricks it can penetrate through. All right guys, so pretty interesting results with the 350 grain mono metal from Buffalo Bore, 5,500 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. Looks like it penetrated through two bricks. Pretty interesting. So it looks like spacing the bricks out helped a little bit. Pretty interesting. I might have to repeat this test in the future with more spacing between the bricks. So two bricks with the 350 grain mono metal and the bricks spaced out. Pretty uh, interesting results. And look at how these bricks were just totally annihilated. It's pretty insane. Got chunks of bricks all over the place here. So that's pretty much it for this one guys. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments. If you want to see more of my 416 Ruger penetration tests and various videos, check out my 416 Ruger playlist. That's where I have all of my 416 Ruger videos. So take care, God bless, and don't forget the three Ps. Prepare, practice, and persevere.